All right, thanks, Hallie. Well, let's talk about taking a break to improve your health. August is National Wellness Month, and we're getting a jump on things this morning. Joining us now is Nicholas Pamonti, Wellness Coordinator at Eastern Michigan University, and Yoga Instructor Kelsey Taylor. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. So let's talk about the little things that you can do to improve your health. And Kelsey's here to demonstrate some of those poses. So why don't you go ahead and get started, Kelsey, and give us some um, ideas of what you could do. And Nicholas, why don't you tell us what this Wellness Month is all about? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so wellness is, is defined as the active pursuit of health, right? Mm -hmm. um, and at EMU, we use the eight dimensions of wellness as kind of our framework for addressing uh, holistic student health, right? Um, without naming them all, the eight dimensions include financial well-being, physical well-being, like diet and exercise, uh, all the way through to mental health. And uh, with Kelsey doing these poses, I mean, that looks, well, that might not be easy to do at work. <laughs> but what she was doing before, just bending down, doing things like, like, does that make a difference? Because a lot of folks, you know, you, um, you work at a desk, you know, or you're just kind of stuck in a building. So you yeah. kind of forget about getting up and moving around. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things that we see most in the health and wellness world right now is the issues with mental health. Um, and, and there's some quick ways, even in the workplace or in the classroom, that you can address your mental health. One of the quickest and easiest is to start each day with a simple gratitude journal. Um, just get up and before you get into email or start your day, um, frame your lens in a positive way by giving some gratitude, right? Mm -hmm. um, you, of course, you can always do yoga too. Um, we hold several yoga classes uh, at EMU uh, that the students love uh, for the employees as well. So. And Kelsey, how important is it for you to just kind of motivate people and get them, get them moving? Um, I think it's one of the best things. It's so fulfilling to me um, because one of the best things that yoga can do for us is to connect us to the present moment so we can practice patience and non-judgment and compassion. And well, you were saying non-judgment because I was going to say the next question is a lot of people get intimidated. They think like, you know, maybe I can't handle yoga. It's, it's hard in a classroom right. setting. So what, do you, what advice do you have for those folks who haven't tried yoga but should? I think they should always just focus on themselves and to do what feels right for them and know that it's always a safe place you're at. So mm -hmm. it's a great place to just learn and practice and learn more about yourself. Well, um, why don't you give us some poses that we could do at work? Okay. Real easy stuff to get you moving. Sure. And uh, Nick, why don't you give us some more tips about health and wellness while Kelsey's doing that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so some of the main pillars of health and wellness is sleep, right? Mm -hmm. Diet. Sleep, Actually, yes. Yeah, I, sleep. I'm stuck sleep. in sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, sleep is one of the most underrated and, and least talked about aspects of health, but it definitely determines what we eat, uh, our mood, mental health, right? Playing back into that. Um, so definitely sleep. I'm a registered dietitian, so uh, diet quality and, and good nutrition is really high in my book, uh, as well as physical activity. Mm -hmm. right? Um, I would say those are probably the, the three mainstays as well as uh, your social network, right? Or um, how connected you are with people, right? Uh, what kind of support systems do you have uh, when tough times do hit your life? Mm -hmm. uh, because your ability to deal with those is really uh, how we define well-being. It's funny because, you know, we talk about, you know, well-being and, and wellness and things like that. And we always like lean towards the physical, but in mental uh, well-being is just so important as well. Yeah. Uh, Nick, where can we learn more information? Yeah, um, so if you go to emish.edu forward slash responsibility, that's the Office of Wellness and Community Responsibilities website. Um, we have information about all of our wellness events up there. Um, they are open to the community members as well. So. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Kelsey. Do my little <laughs> do something here while we're in the break. Is there anything we could, we, I could do in heels? <laughs> we'll be right back. Try to balance it. <laughs> Careful of this. <laughs>